What is Litha, or the summer solstice? Hello, I'm Max Raven. And I'm Cassandra Raven. Together we have over 30 years experience in the occult, witchcraft and magic. We share insights, knowledge, advice and lifestyle tips to make your magic go further and add potency to your work. Midsummer's Day, or Litha, is the longest day and shortest night of the year and usually occurs around the 20th to the 21st of June. Also known as Gathering Day, crops are at or are approaching their height of growth. With the hottest days still ahead, the celebration of the sun at its height is one of the main pagan celebrations. The term Litha was originally coined in the 1970s, although the celebrations and correspondences have been around for millennia. Anglo-Saxons celebrated the solstices and equinoxes, while Celts celebrated the turning of the seasons with fire festivals, for example, Beltane and Samhain. All these have been brought together to mark points of magical potency throughout the year. Summer solstice and winter solstice are the two sun festivals. When connecting with the energy of the sun, we look at the male energy. The sun is considered masculine and represents the god, while the moon is feminine and represents the goddess. One of the key aspects of magic is balancing these two forces and ensuring that they are equally represented in your workings. The god can appear in many forms. One of them is the green man, whose foliage changes with the seasons. At midsummer he appears as the oak king, in midwinter he is the holly king. Some view this changing as a battle between the two, midsummer being when the holly king wins over the oak king, and the days begin to grow shorter. One of the nicest ways to celebrate this festival is waking early and watch the sunrise. Every year, thousands of people flock to ancient sites such as Stonehenge to witness the moment the first light appears. Some people light a bale fire or bonfire to drive out evil. You can light a candle at sunrise to represent the power of the sun and keep a succession of candles burning all day if you can stay close to them. The best rituals to perform at summer solstice are those connected with masculine energy, such as protection rituals, and those for achieving personal goals, including business goals. It's also a good time for rituals for blessing the upcoming harvest and anything that requires solar influences. Preparation for this solstice can include making protection amulets which can be charged over a fire or candle. Ideal colours to use are gold, orange, red, yellow and white. If you're setting up an altar, use sprigs of oak and golden flowers to decorate it. Some people choose to, pl choose to place a representation of a masculine deity Offerings can include mead, beer, honey and summer fruits. Consider using in your workings things like oak, mistletoe, frankincense, sandalwood and copal. All of these are available in our shop and the link is in the description below. Let us know how you celebrate the solstice in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as this helps more people see our videos. Thank you for watching and enjoy your summer solstice. Goodbye.